this morning from Jackass out there what they charge to put a heater in, you know? Hey, you know what I thought you are, you need to do? You need to get somebody out here that works on them things and, and see what they, they might do it for four or five hundred dollars, put you a new pump and all on it right there, or whatever that's called, that put that new whole such new, because your, your, your stove probably ain't burned out, would you think? You might could save a thousand dollars. Yeah, that that might be you that that might be all you need to replace, JD. Hey, have you? Yeah. I think I would see if I couldn't get somebody to come out and. The whole rest of the stove house might be all right. Yeah, yeah. And now, if you if you'd have smelled smoke or something like it, you know. And that. Uh, those things don't get uh, that hot in right there against the probably the metal. You don't run it up that high, no way. Yeah. Not hard. yeah. I've been thinking about that last night. Of cold water. I thought you might be thinking about that. I was hoping you was thinking about that, because I, I was thinking, that's almost 14 wasn't that about close to $1,400? Yeah, for the stew. That's a lot of, that's a lot of money, if, uh, you know. Hey, Mike, come over here and just pick up the motor and coal out and put a new one in there. Slide a new one in for five six hundred dollars and you'd, you'd be, you'd be set. Unless you get them two boys that charge $500, you know. $125 yeah. We might could do it ourselves. We, we, we might could take that thing out. Uh, you see, we don't know what else might be wrong, too, you know. Well, that's probably what it is, though. I mean, they, there's nothing else but to. When you, once you take it out, that's all. That's the brains of it, ain't it? Yeah. That's pretty much all there is to it. I figured in the long run, like, at my age and you know, all, I, I could go ahead and have him come out here and fix it, whatever it is, you know. You and I could put it in if you get if you get one, but I was, I was hoping you'd. I, I say though, I, I I think about that this morning, and, and maybe we could see what was wrong as well. I, I still believe the water's going down, you know, because shit, that water wasn't about four inches deep when I got in here this morning, about six months, six foot from the top of the well. Yeah, but JD over at the house, my tank sits underneath the basement, and my well is down. By the time you measured where my tank and my tank's up higher, or well, it's up higher. It's See, just, the thing about it is, like I said, that well, when the well put in there, the water that was about six foot from the top of the pipe. Yeah. So look at all that shit been put back in there since then. Oh, yeah, yeah. I figure too, and then, then, then we, we made all the mistake to cut the pipe off of the shorts. And that might be, might pull that thing out and look down there, and like old fella said, it might be rock bottom down there, you know? Yeah. Well, they, when they call for a 70 degree day, we need to get to it, you know. Uh, uh, don't turn that thing off. But I, I just think about that. That's a lot of money to put in a, a stove when you might can just, you might can just get that other replaced right there in the front. And have an, have an oil stove. Well, if you wouldn't use them cheap batteries, they wouldn't go dead all the time, J.D. <laughs> oh, have you? Well, it's time to change them, ain't it?